Hello, my name is David Evans and I'm a lecturer in the engineering department at Glyndor University. Uh, one of the modules I teach is mechanical science and um, I'm just going to give you a little taste of uh, what we do on that course. Um, one of the things we're interested in is forces and what happens when we exert forces onto solid materials. Uh, so just a very short introduction to the basic concept of forces. Imagine we have a vehicle on a road. Let's just think for a minute about the forces which, which are acting on this vehicle. Let's say the vehicle has a mass of 2,000 kilograms. This mass in the Earth's gravitational field generates a weight and the size of the weight is the mass times gravity. Now at sea level gravity is ni around 9.8 meters per second squared so we can say that if we, if we approximate that to 10 this gives us a weight of 2000 times 10 newtons which we can also write as 20 kilonewtons. This force acts in the vertical direction downwards so here we have the weight of the vehicle 20 kilonewtons. Now new, this vehicle is stationary sitting on the road, it's not moving, it's not moving up or down and Newton, Newton's laws tell us that if the object is stationary then the forces must balance. So what is balancing the weight of the vehicle? Well, we have forces exerted by the road on the tires and we can depict those as the reaction force. Let's call that one RR for the rear tires and the forces on the front tires are F. Newton's law tells us that these three sets of forces must balance out. So we have the weight of the vehicle is equal to the sum of the two reaction forces and all of those are equal to 20 kilonewtons. So that describes what's going on in the vertical direction. What's happening in the horizontal direction? At the moment nothing because the vehicle is stationary, there's no force in the horizontal direction, the road is horizontal so we can ignore any sideways forces. But what happens if we start the engine and the vehicle begins to move? Let's give this an acceleration left to right, we'll call that A. And if we have a powerful 4x4, four four, then we could generate a acceleration in the region of probably 3 meters per second squared. And Newton's law tells us that if we have an acceleration in any direction, then that object must be experiencing a force. And Newton's law tells us that the size of the force is equal to the product of the mass and the acceleration. In this case, the mass is 2,000 kilograms multiplied by the acceleration of 3 meters per second squared, and we get 6,000 newtons which we can also write as 6 kilonewtons. So we found the size of the force that we need in order to generate the acceleration. But 
Where does this force come from and what direction is it in? Well, uh, Newton also helps us here because the force is a vector and Newton's law tells us that the direction of the force is in the same direction as the acceleration and the acceleration is left to right. So the force on this vehicle must also be left to right and we know that it's six kilonewtons. But we haven't yet found out where this force arises. Well, the only point on the vehicle where a force could be generated is at the point where the tires contact the road. So we know that there must be a force left to right at the two sets of tires. Let's call this F rear. Let's call this F front. And we can now write another equation to tell us something about the sizes of these forces. What we found is that the force left to right must be equal to the sum of the forces of the road on the tires and these are equal to six kilonewtons. It might seem strange that the road is exerting a forward force on the tires but at the same time the tires are exerting forces on the road. So we haven't quite completed the picture. We can also include in this the force exerted by the tires on the road. These forces are equal and opposite to the forces exerted by the road on the tire. And the same thing applies to the reaction forces, which must also be there to balance the vertical for reaction forces of the road on the tyres. There's a little snapshot introduction to forces. I hope you found it interesting. If you would like to take it further, why not get in touch with the engineering department at Glindore University?